Welcome graduates. Welcome to the doctoral graduation celebration for Boise State University. I am Tammy Bakahazi, Dean of the Graduate College, and I am so delighted you are able to join us today. Graduates, let me just once again say congratulations. Today is for you, for you to celebrate the extraordinary accomplishment of obtaining your doctoral degree, to know that your hard work and dedication have paid off. You are now among the small percentage of those privileged to hold a doctorate and can be appropriately addressed as doctor. Today is also a time to be recognized for your great achievement by those who've been a part of this incredible journey. Welcome family and friends, staff, administrators, and faculty. I know the unbridled pride you are feeling today about these graduates. Together, we celebrate. Graduates, all of Boise State joins in your happiness of your success. And in a minute, you will hear from the president of our university, Dr. Marlene Trump. But first, as your graduate dean, I'd like to take a moment to speak from the heart. While days like today are about triumph and engaging in festivity, I also believe taking time for reflection can be meaningful. Graduates, please think back to when you first decided to pursue this graduate degree. Do you remember going through the application process and your reaction when you're informed that you were admitted to the program? The excitement of the first few weeks of classes, meeting your new colleagues and learning more about your faculty? During your graduate studies, some of you may never have stumbled, never had doubt. However, some of you might recall that on occasion, you experienced feelings of self-doubt or even wondered what you might have gotten yourself into. Maybe you question yourself, your abilities, even your own resilience. And some of you might have thought about quitting or going another direction. But here's what I know is true for all of you. You started your doctoral degree for a reason. You had a purpose, a vision, a destination, and you didn't give up you ultimately never gave up. Hold on to that. Yes, hold on to that. My hope for you graduates is that you each connect with how and why and what led you to this very moment. For this is the moment, that very important moment that you have made your own. You have come to a time to now use your doctoral degree to make a difference in the world, to embrace who you are and what you have achieved, to follow your passion without hesitation, to engage in ways that you have never before. I challenge you to be that person you set out to be at the beginning of your doctoral journey, or even to surpass that vision using what you have learned and who you have become along the way someone who has reached for the ultimate goal and made it your own. To every one of you, I say, congratulations, doctor. You did it. You are right where you belong. And now I would like to introduce someone who I know has so much belief in you and your ability to excel and who is excited, just like the rest of us, to see what you each will set out to achieve next. I am truly honored to introduce Dr. Marlene Trump, president of Boise State University. Welcome, Dr. Trump. Thank you so much, Dean Vakahasi. I am so delighted to be here today. Um, it was very important to me to be able to be present at this event. And in this incredibly challenging time, part of what your accomplishment has shown is just how resilient and extraordinary you are. There's a very, very small percentage, as you heard Dean Bakahasi say, of people in the world who have earned a doctoral degree. You are now in that very small group 
But part of what is so extraordinary about earning your degree in this moment is you have overcome challenges that no doctoral student has ever had to overcome to complete that degree. So you should be especially proud. And while this isn't a traditional ceremony, the opportunity to come together in this moment and to acknowledge that in this challenging moment you have still achieved is such a profound sign of what your future holds for you. We know how important doctoral degrees and doctoral work is. Many people outside of the institutions don't. Becoming a doctorate is about knowledge creation. And what you all have shown is that you're not just capable of doing very difficult and challenging work, but that you are able to create new knowledge in your fields and areas. This is something of which to be extraordinarily proud. Very few people ever are responsible for generating new knowledge, new visual arts, new thinking, new works, new ideas. This is really and truly something that you should remember for the rest of your life. You are capable of creating something that's brand new in the world. What an accomplishment. When I graduated with my PhD, I was so surprised by the number of people who attended the ceremony. And I said to a friend of mine who traveled from across the state to come to the ceremony, I'm so surprised to see you here. And he said, I promise every time you get a doctorate, I'll show up. And so I think that there's something, even in the public consciousness, in the public mind, people who aren't a part of academia, who understand how truly extraordinary this is, but what they need to learn from us, from universities, is what important work that you do. The work that you're doing is work that changes the world. Every time you create new knowledge, you create a ripple effect of what's possible out in the world. Every time you create new art, you create a ripple effect of what's possible in the world. So you as creators are literally transforming the world and transforming what's possible for other scholars. The excitement and enthusiasm of being a part of this kind of work at a place like Boise State University is something that's truly special. You probably know that there are thousands of colleges and universities in this country alone. Boise State has been named in the top 50 of national universities in innovation. And that's in large part due to people like you doing your creative, innovative work and the leadership that you see before you today. It's so exciting that your degree will come from an institution that has been singled out by all the other institutions across the country is truly having an impact in innovation. People are looking to Boise State to understand how to deliver education differently, do research differently, and serve differently. In the work that you have done, you may see your work as being something that's so narrowly focused in your field, but in the work that you have done in being a part of a university, you have impacted, created a greater impact for the entire organization. So you, what university of course means is that we cover all the thinking, all the ways of approaching, but you've accelerated that work by doing doctoral research. And, and what you've done is amplified all the work of the university and that's also a service mm -hmm. impact. So if a university's mission is threefold, teaching, research, and service, a part of what you may not recognize is that your impact is also a service impact because that new thinking, that innovation, those insights will transform what's possible for everyone else in the world going forward. Being a part of this trailblazing community and making the impact that you have made, you have left a permanent mark on the university with what you have done. So not only have we given you the opportunity to complete your doctoral studies here, but in your innovative work, you have left a mark on us. So we're incredibly grateful for all that you have contributed, as well as the opportunity to work with you. Congratulations, doctor.
I'm so proud of you today. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Trump, for those inspiring words. Now, I would like to introduce Dr. Scott Lowe, the Associate Dean of the Graduate College. Thank you, Dean Bakahazi. On behalf of the graduate faculty and the staff in the Graduate College, we'd like to acknowledge some of those in attendance today. First, we'd like to welcome Provost Tony Rourke. Provost Rourke is the Chief Academic Officer at Boise State University. Second, we'd like to welcome and acknowledge several of the Associate Deans that are in attendance today. These associate deans represent their colleges on the graduate leadership team, and they guide graduate education at Boise State University. From the College of Arts and Sciences, Associate Dean C.J. Northrup. From the College of Education, Associate Dean Keith Tede. From the College of Engineering, Associate Dean Maria Makova. From the College of Health Sciences, Associate Dean Joel Powers. And from the School of Public Service, Associate Dean Jen Schneider. On behalf of the graduate faculty at Boise State University, and on behalf of the graduate college staff, thank you all for your service to graduate education. Yes, thank you, Dr. Lowe, for those much deserved words of appreciation. And thanks to the many others who contribute to graduate education at Boise State University. Now, it is time to turn our attention to hear about the graduates. First, we will hear from the College of Education. Welcome Interim Dean Jennifer Snow. Thank you, Dean Bakahazi. I am thrilled to honor College of Education doctoral graduates today. Congratulations, UN, Frank, Julia, and Barack. Your hard work and dedication has paid off, and the education system and society need you and your expertise now more than ever. Thank you for your perseverance and congratulations on your accomplishments. We wish you the very best. And now our distinguished faculty will introduce their doctoral graduates. My name is Inhe Son. I'm a faculty in literacy, language, and culture department. Today, I have the honor of introducing Yuan Chen, who is receiving her doctorate in curriculum and instruction. In her dissertation study, Yuan examined how Chinese transnational adolescents negotiated and reconstructed their cultural identity through book discussion in fairy and culture circles. Congrats, everyone. I'd like to especially acknowledge Yuan's hard work and persistence. While working on her dissertation, she moved twice across the U.S., raised her amazing little boy, Spencer, and supported her wonderful husband, June. These numerous things never awesome. stopped her from awesome. keeping going and completing her dissertation. U.N., I want to let Goodbye. you know I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, U.N., you did it. Hello. My name, is, my name is Jesus Tres Palacios. I am an associate professor yeah, at the, the Department, Department of Educational Technology. My songs are low. Today, I have the honor of introducing Frank Gomez, who is receiving oh, his doctorate of education in educational technology. Frank is a school teacher in Los Angeles, California, and his dissertation was titled Technology Integration Self-Efficacy Reframed Through the East Standards an investigation among urban K-12 teachers. Congratulations, Dr. Gomez, on such a major success. Your talent, dedication, and efforts have finally paid you off with a doctoral degree. Go Broncos. My name is Lida Uribe Flores. I am an associate professor in the Department of Educational Technology. Today, I have the honor of introducing Julia Hill, who is receiving her doctorate on education in educational technology. Julia is a secondary mathematics teacher in a rural school district in Maryland. In her dissertation, Understanding Middle and High School Mathematics Teachers' Attitudes Towards and the Use of Technology, she focuses on her main research areas, mathematics teachers and technology integration. 
Before her study, I had the honor to work with her in another research on those topics. I have no doubt that Julia will continue a successful scholarly career. Her parents, husband, and children are an important part of her journey, and now they are very proud of her accomplishments. Congratulations, Julia. Go Broncos! Hi, my name is Andy Hong. I'm a professor in the Educational Technology Department. Today, I have the honor of introducing uh, Barack Stanley, who is receiving his doctorate in Educational Technology. Barack has more than 10 years teaching experience in K-12 education. His dissertation is entitled Teachers and User Attitudes Toward the Implementation of School-Based Social Networking Sites in K-8 Schools an extension of the technology acceptance model. His short-term goal is to be an elementary school's principal. In the long run, he plans to work way up the administrative pipeline and teach courses at higher ed institution. Congratulations, Barack. Thank you, Dr. Snow and colleagues, and congratulations to the doctoral graduates from the College of Education. Next will be the College of Health Sciences. Welcome, Dr. Tim Dunnigan, Dean of the College. Thank you, Dean Bakahazi. Uh, congratulations to our nursing candidates. Um, it's especially exciting for me to be here today. I know this is a culmination of a lot of hard work. I think it's worth mentioning that healthcare is transforming and nurses represent the largest population of healthcare workers in the United States. So as we go forward to change healthcare, nurses are gonna be right in the middle of those changes. The things that you've learned through these efforts on how you can address health through populations across multiple settings and to improve the health within your work sites and communities is significant. I wanna leverage off what the president said, and it's truly a remarkable time to be graduating, but I think it's worth noting that these graduates also were working on addressing a global health pandemic while they finished their doctoral work. Uh, and I think it really in, in, is the, the crux of what a nurse is, to just see these challenges, go forward and get things done. So I'm so excited to be here today and wanna to congratulate you on that effort. I also, it's my pleasure to uh, introduce our distinguished faculty from nursing who will introduce the doctoral candidates. Thank you and go Broncos. My name is Sarah Otten and I'm graduate faculty in the School of Nursing. And today I have the distinct honor and pleasure of introducing Jody Atchison, who is receiving her doctorate in nursing practice. Jody's doctoral project was a quality improvement pilot to reduce caregiver burden in caregivers of stem cell transplant patients who were receiving care at a stem cell transplant program in the Northwest. Going forward, Jody is investigating how healthcare technologies could be used to expand the scope and range of services offered to these caregivers, who often travel long distances to the transplant center and can remain in that caregiving role for up to 100 days after transplant. Congratulations, Jody, on completing your degree and successfully meeting the Doctor of Nursing Practice goal of improving health comes for populations, uh, communities, and systems. Go Broncos! Hi, I'm Dr. Teresa Surratt, and it is my privilege to introduce Michelle Harvey, who has earned her doctorate of nursing practice. Michelle identified an issue with higher than average pressure injuries that were occurring in her organization. Her doctoral project entitled Improving Pressure Injury Prevention Practices in the Adult Intensive Care Unit Setting was based on a systematic evidence-based process and has made a significant positive impact on patient outcomes and the organization. Despite the challenges of the organization's competing priorities, leadership changes, and financial constraints, Michelle remained nimble, positive, and energetic, 
and tackled these challenges to complete her project. She exemplifies what we strive for in our DMP graduates. She will continue to do amazing things throughout her nursing career, and it was a great pleasure working with her through this process. Congratulations, Michelle. Hi, my name is Pam Yerke. I'm a professor in the School of Nursing. Today, I have the pleasure of introducing Carmen Mayer Hassey, who is receiving her Doctorate of Nursing Practice degree. Carmen is passionate about promoting healthy physical activity in children and families who live in rural Oregon. She is the first in her family to earn a nursing doctoral degree. She is grateful for her husband's and children's support as she went through the doctoral program. And she typifies the expertise, the flexibility, and the wisdom of nurses who constantly strive to make their communities healthier. Congratulations on your achievement, Carmen. I am doubly honored today to also introduce the next graduate. Temi Topi Opebo is receiving her Doctorate of Nursing Practice degree. Temi successfully carried out a project to improve cardiovascular health of African immigrants in Maryland. While she has carried on the family tradition of being a nurse, she is the first in her family to achieve a doctoral degree. She is grateful for the support of her husband and her three young children as she went through the doctoral program. Tammy, I'm so proud of you. Congratulations on your achievement. Congratulations, graduates. And thanks to Dean Dunnigan and the College of Health Sciences faculty. Well done. I'm pleased to welcome Dr. Leslie Durham, Interim Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Leslie? Thank you, Dean Vakahatsi. I am delighted to celebrate the accomplishments of all the spring 2020 doctoral degree recipients today. And of course, I'm especially proud of my college's two graduates and grateful to their faculty advisors. You represent the very best of our college and our university, and I'm incredibly proud of what you have achieved. Surely the last few months have taught us all many things, and among them, how incredibly vital scientific expertise is for helping us tackle the daunting problems we face today. Tenacity, creativity, and the drive for discovery have helped you reach this extraordinary milestone, and they will serve you well as you continue on what I believe to be crucial intellectual and professional journey. I wish you every possible success, and I can't wait to see where you go and what you do. Congratulations from the entire College of Arts and Sciences. And now our distinguished faculty will introduce the doctoral graduates. Sorry, coming. Hello. I'm Eric Hayden from the Department of Biological Sciences. It is my honor to introduce Stephanie Hewden. Stephanie is receiving her PhD in biomolecular sciences. Um, Stephanie has developed biomolecular diagnostic approaches to measure the health of animals. You can think of this as personalized medicine for endangered species, which don't have health insurance, by the way. Specifically, Stephanie developed a method to measure the length of protective DNA called telomeres, and her method works consistently and universally across the vertebrate tree of life. Stephanie also led a team of researchers to integrate genomic, chemistry, and ecological data. Such multi-omics approaches are at the forefront of biological research, and Stephanie plans to continue this integrative approach during a postdoc 
that uh, coordinates between Boise State, Wyoming, and the University of Nevada, Reno. Stephanie, I congratulate you on your hard work and success and look forward to what you will accomplish next. My name is Nancy Glenn, and I'm a professor in the Department of Geosciences. Today, I have the honor of introducing Ginny Kanda Yapa Mudiyan Salage Nayani Kanuja Elengakun, who is receiving her doctorate in geosciences. Nayani's dissertation provides a foundation for remote sensing of dryland vegetation. Her novel waveform analysis now permits us to utilize satellite data across the globe to understand how dryland ecosystems and subsequently the 2 billion people who are dependent upon them are impacted by climate change. Nayani's work was funded by a prestigious NASA fellowship, the first to Boise State. She is now a postdoc at University of Colorado Boulder continuing her work. Nayani is an inspiration to our whole research lab group and university. She's the essence of a Boise State graduate, a scientist with a can-do approach, a brilliant thinker, an accomplished intellect in her field of remote sensing. And she does this with humility and an unassuming nature, along with a willingness to learn from and serve others. She will be a colleague and friend for life. I extend my gratitude and congratulations to Nayani. Thank you. Thank you, colleagues and Dean Durham. Congratulations to the doctoral graduates from the College of Arts and Sciences. Welcome, Dr. Joanne Lighty. Next, we have the graduates for the College of Engineering. Dr. Lighty. Thank you, Dean Vakahasi. It's a pleasure to welcome our graduates to this forum. The mission of the College of Engineering is with an unshakable focus on learning. We empower all to think critically and solve the world's complex challenges. I'm so proud of these students who've really lived that mission in terms of the work and research they have accomplished. Thank you for that dedication and for your work. I'd also like to thank your advisors for their mentorship and for their support of you as well. We are very proud of all that you have, we have, you have done in the College of Engineering and congratulate you and our best wishes for your future endeavors. And now our distinguished faculty will introduce the doctoral graduates in the College of Engineering. Hi, uh, my name is Neda Rafla. I am a professor at the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. Today, I have the honor of introducing Luca Dawood, who is receiving his Doctor of Philosophy degree in Electrical and Computer Engineering. Luca joined the PhD program in 2014 with a master's degree. During his course of study, he collaborated in different research projects with other students in my research group. These efforts resulted in several conference and journal publications. He also did an industrial internship and served the department as an instructor for the Digital Systems Lab. His PhD research contributed to the field of hardware security through the development of a secure network on a chip against black hole and the tampering attacks, which is going to make our computers safer in the next generation uh, computers. Upon graduation, he joined the Memory Solutions Lab at Samsung San Jose, California, as a research and development system architect. Congratulations, Dr. Luca. My name is Rick Ubik. I am a professor in the Micron School of Material Science and Engineering. Today, I have the honor of introducing Evan Smith, who is receiving his doctorate in Material Science and Engineering. Evan joined my functional ceramics group in 2016 after having completed a BS degree in applied mathematics with a minor in physics at Boise State, graduating with a 3.89 GPA. He had come to Boise from Cerro Caso Community College in California where he was awarded Associate of Science degrees in Mathematics, Engineering, and General Science, plus an Associate of Arts degree in Liberal Arts. He received a host of awards from his community college, and while at Boise State, he has been involved with the MSc Club, Phi Kappa Phi Honor Society, Students Helping Integrate Fellow Transfers, Ski and Snowboard Club, and the Bowling Club. He has also been instrumental in his service to me as an editorial assistant for Materials Research Bulletin throughout his time uh, at the MSMSE. As the senior group member uh, in the group since the day he began, 
He has mentored several REU undergraduates in the lab and presented his work very professionally at the MSNT conference in Portland last year. Most impressively, he has produced no fewer than five journal articles as principal author during his PhD studies. His thesis, entitled Empirical Modeling of Structural Distortions in Perovskite Ceramics, was a compilation of these five papers. He easily passed his defense, which I believe was our school's very first to be conducted entirely online, and I once again congratulate him on his accomplishments and wish him well. Thank you. Congratulations to the doctoral graduates from the College of Engineering, and thanks to Dean Leidy and the faculty. Our final college for the day is the School of Public Service. Welcome Interim Dean Andy Giacomazzi. Thank you, Dean Vakahazi. In the School of Public Service, we pride ourselves in equipping our students with the theories, concepts, and skills to become relevant, responsive, and innovative leaders in the public, private, and nonprofit sectors. And Dr. Craig Jones, our honored graduate today, truly embodies this mission. Congratulations to all the doctoral graduates on this call today. I am so honored to be with you celebrating this monumental milestone in your lives, both the end of a long journey and the beginning of another, complete with its own twists and turns and the opening of new doors along the way that you never knew existed. Your hard work, dedication, perseverance, caffeine, more caffeine, sleepless nights, and caffeine have really paid off today as you receive the highest degree in your field. Congratulations to our graduates and go Broncos. And now I'd like to introduce Dr. Jen Schneider who will introduce Dr. Craig Jones. My name is Jen Schneider. I'm a professor in the School of Public Service. Today I have the honor of introducing Craig Jones who is receiving his doctorate in public policy and administration. Craig is the Director of Environmental Policy at Oglethorpe Energy Corporation in Atlanta, Georgia. He completed his dissertation from afar and while working full-time, an incredible accomplishment. And his dissertation is so good. It examines President Barack Obama's efforts to enact climate policy using the Environmental Protection Agency to regulate carbon emissions. This work makes an important contribution to how we understand the evolution of presidential power in the United States, and it could not be more timely. Craig is the epitome of a disciplined, thoughtful researcher. He's an outstanding writer and thinker, and he's just a wonderful human being. I couldn't be prouder of you, Craig, or happier for you. And I'm excited that you can now go to Disney World with your family and not have to worry about coding your data in between riding the rides. Congratulations, Dr. Jones. Yes, congratulations, Dr. Jones. Thank you from the School of Public Service faculty and interim Dean Giacomasi. Doctoral students, graduates, I hope you know and have heard how proud Boise State University is of you. We cheer your future. We look forward to you making a difference we can't wait to see what you will accomplish. And I hope you heard from us today how much you made a difference here at Boise State. As we come to the end of our time, on behalf of Boise State, thank you to everyone who joined us for this special event. I hope this time together has been meaningful. I also wanna thank the graduate college staff who planned today's event and the staff members who helped to support our graduate students from a mission through graduation. Graduates, we are so proud of you. Today, we celebrate you and your remarkable achievements. Now, please, let's give a cheer and applause for the newly conferred doctorate. Oh, 
Congratulations, Dr. Gomez. Brock Stanley. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Craig Jones, Hey, Brock, Stanley. 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 Hey, Brock, Stanley.